Okay, for this one, there's another problem where we don't have it set equal to zero. So again, for these problems, the first thing you always want to do is make sure you set it equal to zero because that way if you factor it in a later step, then you can set both of them equal to zero and solve for it. So for this one, just to track cosine from both sides, we get sine two theta minus cosine theta equals zero. Now, we get to a roadblock here because we, there's no common factor, nothing we can pull out. So if you get to that point, you probably need to put an identity uh, in there to make, allow you to be able to go further with the problem. So I'm going to put an identity for sine two theta and it requires me to look back at my double angle and half angle formulas again. So if I look at those, I actually only have one formula for sine two theta and what that is, it's two sine theta cosine theta. So I'm going to replace the sine two theta with its identity and now I have that. By doing that, now it allows me to see that I have a common factor here that I can pull out. So I can pull out a uh, cosine theta from each of these. So cosine theta, and I have two sine theta minus one uh, left over. And then I'm gonna take each of these individually, set them equal to zero. I get cosine theta equals zero, and I get two sine theta minus one equals zero. If I solve the second one, I get sine theta equals uh, positive one half. So now both of these, I'm going to use my unit circle and reference angles in order to find that. Cosine equals zero. Okay, if I look at this unit circle, I have this spot and this spot. These are the two places where the x value would be zero. It's always going to be uh, pi over two and also three pi over two down below here. We're looking at any place where the x value is zero. So therefore, uh, for, the, for my answer, the first two answers I'm going to have will come from this equation here, and that's going to be pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. We're working with radians because it tells us uh, our interval is from 0 to 2 pi, which means our answers need to be in radians. So here's the first two I get from the unit circle. Okay, now next, I want to look at sine theta equals 1 half. Okay, if I go to sine theta, go down to 1 half, that's this one right here. The reference angle is pi over 6 this time. Again, we're working with radians. So therefore, right here, I have uh, pi over 6. So I know that my third answer for sure is going to be pi over 6 because, again, it was uh, sine that equals positive 1 half, and that's here. Sine is also positive over there in the second quadrant. So first and second quadrant, sine is positive. This is going to be pi over 6 also over here. Now, to get that last uh, angle, we have 180 here, and we're going to subtract, we're going to go back this way, 180 minus, or pi minus pi over 6. So if I do that, 6 pi over 6 minus pi over 6, that's going to be 5 pi over 6 when I use common denominators. So that would be our uh, fourth solution. So the first two came from this equation, cosine theta equals 0. The second two answers came from solving this equation, sine theta equals 1 half. So both of those individually I had to use the unit circle and also the table.